Hello, my name is Stan and boy, I have some amazing news for you today. Uh, as you may have already seen from the title, today is the first demonstration of natural canvas in multi-login. Now, we have been working on this technology for a quite a long time. Uh, it has been a very difficult project to accomplish, but we are finally able to demonstrate something that is already working. So I, I hope that many of you already know what, why is it such a big deal to have uh, a non-unique canvas. And if you still have question at why is this such a big deal to have a natural canvas, I highly suggest that you check the video on, uh, on the hardware fingerprints. But today, today I will show you the ultimate solution to the problem, which is actually not by uh, simply removing the canvas noise function, not by using it on max, but simply you will be able to get natural canvas out of multi-login. And today is the first demonstration. Uh, without further talk, just let's get into it and just let me show you how it all works. Okay, sorry guys, I'm super excited about this and this has been, uh, I hope this, this thing will definitely change a lot, just a lot. Okay, so first of all, I have this MacBook open right here and I have multi-login installed and I also have uh, Firefox installed. For the sake of demonstration, I'll be using Stealthfox profiles. So before we start, let's take a look at what is the canvas hash of this uh, MacBook Pro that I have right here. For this, I have Firefox uh, installed on this Mac. Let's, uh, for demonstration, let's go to browserleaks.com slash canvas and and here we will see three things the first thing is the signature the signature is a derivative of how your browser draws a canvas image the second thing is uniqueness uh, uniqueness is how this hash is compared to other hashes uh, that the browser that the web that sorry that the website has gathered uh, typically Canvas hashes are always non-unique. Uh, they should not always. They should not be 100% unique for the reason, because the same configurations of your PC can exist elsewhere elsewhere in the world. And currently, there are only solutions that can uniqueize it. So, in order for this hash to be um, hash to be changed a noise function has to be applied. However, this noise function makes it 100% unique, unique, which websites may not like. Uh, and this is actually the purpose of this video. We will show a natural non-unique canvas. But before we go there, I want to point out the final thing that browser leaks uh, can point out is, the, uh, is your web browser and operating system without relying on your user agent. Basically, if the website gathers these canvas hashes, it can, can do statistical analysis in order to uh, further distinguish what is the operating system without relying on your user agent for identification. Without further ado, let's get this party popping. <laughs> let's open the first browser profile, which is Android Natural Canvas. Let's go to a browser. I think I have it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, went to browserleaks.com slash canvas. And the first thing let's compare is the hash. As you can see, the hashes are indeed, indeed different. It's the canvas hash is changed. The second thing that we see is the uniqueness. Uh, the, the changed canvas is not 100% unique. And moreover, the uniqueness is slightly different. And finally, uh, because we are emulating uh, an Android canvas, browser leaks thinks we are on Firefox mobile and our operating system is Android. Awesome. 
Well, let's open some more browser profiles. Uh, the second one we have is the Linux Natural Canvas. Remember, we are on Mac currently. Okay, let's go to browserleaks.com slash canvas and take a look at what parameters it will show. First of all, the signature is completely different to my native Firefox. It is also different to the uh, Android, to the, an to, to the Android browser profile that I just opened and the uniqueness are all is all is also different and of course finally if we scroll down it will ident browser leaks will identify uh, my browser identify my operating system as being linux while i'm actually on mac cool yeah let's open the final profile which is windows natural canvas so it's the well as you have guessed this is the windows canvas yeah let's take a look browserleaks.com slash canvas scroll down and take a look what is happening here as you can see uh, the signature the signature is different uniqueness is different and browser leaks identifies my operating system as windows solely on with canvas hash Guys, for me, this is just something amazing. This is just like magic. And I kind of understand uh, your first question. Stan, where can I try it? Where can I get it? Uh, the best thing you can do at the moment, guys, is to subscribe to our Telegram channel. This is the very first demo of how it will work, of how it works. So if you're really interested and excited as I am, definitely subscribe to our Telegram channel because we will be posting information about this amazing feature um, there exactly. So I hope just this video makes you excited as I am because soon there is going to be a revolution in browser fingerprinting. Thanks very much for watching guys. See ya. Bye bye.